Time to drop the puck and get the action started. Kutov gets the loose puck at center ice. The puck doesn't get to the intended receiver. Kutov, he's got it in the corner. Behind the goal. Save! He decides to center the puck. Hangle. The pass missed. The distance pass picked off. One of the NHL's youngest talents. Bykov. Past the blue line. The pass is intercepted. Hartsburg coming off the bench as his team makes the D-line changeup. Oh, coach wants a penalty. That's a hook there. Bretzky intercepts the pass going up the right side. The little deep. Kamensky is coming in as they bring out the scoring line. A fine puck handler. Slap shot fired. Just left of the goal post misses. They have it at center ice. The puck is hit up the left side. Bork comes in. The defenseman switching up on the ice. Kazutonov gets control of the puck in his own zone. Cmac holds him along the wall. The puck played up center. Has it behind the net, and the save it. He saves it. It's set up the left side. Now it's center ice. Right. And they go offside. And here we go with another draw down there on the ice. Kusarov controls the puck on defense. Oh man, you can't hit a guy any harder than he just got nailed. It's pure save. Going low left side, nothing doing. Gets sent to the bend as they face off to his right. Sent back to the point. He shoots. Save made. It bounces off the goalie. Boy, you talk about flat. That's what he was. He got knocked down. Across the blue line. The centering pass is made. It's anyone's puck. And it looks like they're ready down there to get things going again. Patrick gets possession of the loose puck. Save! He was able to stop a very tough shot there. It tipped off a player towards the goal. Wow! It's hit out. Blocker save. Puck deflects away. Man, he made this one look easy. Trust me when I tell you it wasn't. A good blocker save on that wrist shot. The play broken up. At center ice, Messier dumps the puck in. It's cleared back into the neutral zone. Kravchuk out on the ice now for his team as they're able to make the switch in defensive line. Hey, when does a guy want to get hit against the glass? Only when it means the difference between going onto a bench or staying on the ice. What a smoking hit, and it put him right into his own bench. The shot. Fuhrer saves. That one was headed bottom right. Larionov in for his team. They wanted to make a line change with their forwards, and they get a chance now. He feeds it up the left side. It's Fuhrer save. He blocked out the left side there. It's hit out. The pass is stolen. The pass into open ice.
The puck is free game. The puck is centered. Oh, baby, what a hit. You know what this feels like? It's like getting hit with a bumper car. Low center of gravity. What a hip check. He flattened him. The pass doesn't make it there. He knocks the puck away. Krutov gains possession in the defensive zone. The neutral zone. The deep. In deep. To the point. He shoulder check. He gets hip check. Anderson, they go offside. In the slot area now. Terrific job on defense to break up the play. Holds the puck at center. Behind the net. Any more stick there and he's going water skiing. Over the blue line. He's tied up, fires it hard around the boards. Pure save, hitting out the puck with his blocker. Oh, off the crossbar. From the corner, the puck gets picked off. Kamensky controlled along the boards, and the stick save made. Puck back to the point. The puck is centered. Hartsburg skating with it now in his own zone. Fired. The puck hits off the plexiglass. The puck is hit up the left side. It's into the corner. Gilmore, stick save. Lemieux controls it. Good shoulder check. The puck comes out of the corner. The puck's loose. Hartsburg. Hartsburg getting held up along the wall. The pass with no receiver. Faceoff will be at the left of the net as the players get ready. And a save. He took away the five hole. He fires it back. He's just in his first season. A fine puck handler. Lemieux knocked around a bit. It's sent up the left side. No luck on the pass. Here's the face-off coming up. Crossman gets his stick on the loose puck. Misses just barely to the left. It's fed back to the point. 
It's on the way. The puck bounces off the glass. This isn't the biggest hit in the game, but it's a good one. It stopped him in his tracks. The pass is missed. The puck is loose. Up the left side. At center. Pass from the... Fuhr had saved. Fuhr saved. Bretzky gains possession in the defensive zone. Always have to watch out for him. It, and a blocker save. Over to Lariana. The shot. Fuhr saves the shot to the right side. Again, a save. It's cleared out to neutral ice. Bretzky. Break away. Here it is. Save. The shot was labeled top left corner. Stop. We'll come in with the offensive line change. From Nemchinov to Kravchuk. He brings it past the blue line. Nemchinov. Controls it deep. To the middle. He can dish the puck, folks. They break up the shot. Crop over to Howard Chuck. Tries a deep. Off the glass. Messier. Shoots. They get in the way. It's loose. And a save. Oh, just a little shrug action. He didn't commit first. That was the key on the breakaway save. Shot. They deflect the shot. The timing was perfect. Laid the body down. Good shot block to keep the game tied. Kazutonov controls the puck on defense. The pass went nowhere. And his offensive line now as they get some fresh skaters out there changing their forwards. It's the puck is stopped. Prop at the boards with the puck. Pushes him there. The shoulder check knocks him down. Oh, baby. Only the best can make these hits. You've got to have perfect timing. You've got to have a big body. He had them both. Big impact in the neutral zone. Fed out from the corner. Good play by the defense to clear that puck. Hartsburg will come in. His defensive line fresh off the bench. Breakaway! Here it is! And it rings off the crossbar and back out in front. He misses the pass. Hartsburg picks up the loose puck in his own zone. They clear the puck. Bretzky will be back in the game. They wanted to change up their offensive lines, and they get it. The puck gets sent to the center. Saved off the left pillow. That's about as close to a hook as it gets, folks. He centers the puck. Save. Oh, a lot of board saved with the stick, and he didn't walk it on this play. Holding it at center ice. Anderson. Krutov comes in as his team changes lines. He's a good stick handler. He goes down from the check. Hartsburg intercepts the cross ice pass. The save. He gets his body in between the net and the shooter. 
to Krutov. Controlled at center. The long pass intercepted. He takes the big shoulder check. He centers it. Back behind the net. Makarov. Hartsburg shoves him there. It's intercepted. He feeds it up the left side. It's scoreless here tonight as we end the first period of play. No one tickling the twine just yet. First period of hockey over. Now moving on to period two with the Geico intermission report. And here at the break, we give it over to John Schrader for a look at the numbers on the Geico intermission report. Thank you, Randy. It's the first period edition of the Geico intermission report. We've got more stats than you can shake a stick at. The home team have been quicker to the puck tonight and have a clear advantage in face-off percentage. That allows you to play the game downhill, so to speak, and dictate to the opposition. Number 31 is the player everyone's talking about. He's defended his net with reckless abandon, sacrificing his body to maintain that shutout, and his teammates can't thank him enough. It's going to be a battle to see who can break through first. As this game goes on, that first goal becomes more and more important. That'll just about do it on this Geico intermission report. In case you missed it, it's a draw thus far at zero. Now as the game gets back underway, once again, here's Randy and Drew. Thanks, John. Great job, buddy. After the break, now coming out onto the ice for this second period. Really want to see that light turn on. Will we see the first goal of the game soon? We'll just have to watch and find out. They look ready to start the second period now. He brings the puck past the blue line. And he really got hung up on a stick that time. Coach wants the hooking call. They clear it out. The puck is centered. Save! It's saved! Goal! He puts it in the net. It took two periods to get one, but the visiting team's able to do it first in this one. He gets the rebound, Randy. Quick reaction to turn it into a goal. He just jumps on the puck and fires it back at the goalie. It happened so quick, there wasn't a lot he could do. It deflected right off the goalie and in the net. Great shooting reflexes to make the play. Have pulled ahead here in the second period. They get that go-ahead goal at a crucial time. The centering pass is made. He scores! And early here in the second, they come back to tie this game up. Beautiful up the pass sets it all up. What a play. He feeds the puck up and shows why he's number one in assist for his team. And another assist before the shot helps finish off the play. That's teamwork right there. They've got themselves back even. This is a big goal here in the second period. Now they've got a fresh start. Goal! Scored by... Save. The shot hits him square. The puck is cleared out. Kusarov still in his rookie year. Over to the point. It's broken up. Has it center ice. Breakaway. Here it is. He scores. And they jump out here in the second period with the early go-ahead goal. Watch the goalie try to prepare for this one. He dropped to the butterfly position, but leaves too much room. Get the go-ahead goal. Boy, you love seeing that one up on the board, and they have done it here in the second period. Goal! 
Fatisov skating with it now in his own zone. Up the left side. Gilmore nabs the puck on the cross ice feed. Will pull the goalie as they take advantage of the delayed penalty. And coming up now, the 2K Sports Power Play. Get in the game with 2K Sports. Makarov gets control of the puck in his own zone. Messier gains control of the loose puck in the offensive zone. The puck is hit up the left side. Gretzky, the corner. He's got it down low. Gretzky, he's a dangerous scorer. Gretzky along the corner. He scores! And they jump out here in the second period early with a two-goal lead. This play unfolds lightning quick. We see it in the replay, the click of the wrist, and the pucks in the back of the net. And partner, as the goalie, you're trying to sense the attacker coming from behind the net, but you can't predict where he's going to go with the shot. And good offensive players understand that and use it to their advantage, as we saw right there. Goalie guessed high, shot went low, and the to go ahead by two goals. You've got to love that here in the second period. Now, try and maintain that lead and take it into the third. He's been to the box once tonight. Pure saves the wrist shot. He moves it across to Gartner. Anderson will be out there for his team's defensive line as they get a chance to change. Kravchuk freezes him against the boards. Out of the corner. He feeds it up the left side. Play broken up. He's holding the puck in the neutral zone. Mikov took a hard stick there. Coach wants a whistle. Hartsburg intercepts the puck on its way up the left side. He's got one assist. Controlled center ice. Gretzky dumps it in. A deep move. Goulet is at the point controlling the puck. They were looking for a chance to shoot. Had a good opportunity until the nice poke check. The pass no good. Semenov. <laughs> Nemchinov gains possession in the defensive zone. Bretsky. Carry to the point. He takes the wrist shot. His shot here. Save made. He got some lumber out to knock the shot away. The puck intercepted on the long pass. Anderson in now the defensive line able to change. Fed out from the corner. Stick came up on him. The refs won't let you get away with too much of that. Gartner breaks up the pass on the right side. C-Mac will be part of the offensive line out on the ice for his team. He's got one goal tonight. To the point. Controlling it around back. He's got a great eye. Great stick. Long pass. Broken up. That chance turned aside as the puck gets cleared. It's, it's a goal! Another one! Just four minutes apart! Somebody get some water! He is hot! Wow, partner, what a 
ball. You have excellent defense on the play, but just incredible shooting skill here that rises above the deep. No doubt about that, partner. Great offensive player against a tough defender, and I think the key did a pretty good job. I agree, he did, but it wasn't good enough. And at this level of competition, slight advantages turn into goals. Kusarov gets possession of the puck in the neutral zone. Lemieux in now. His line in there as they get fresh forwards out on the air. Goal! He scores! It ricocheted off the crossbar and into the net. Oh, he thought he was robbed at first, but it went in anyway. That teaches you that persistence pays off. And here you really see how hockey, too, is a game of inches. Oh, yeah, just a little bit higher, and that shot whizzes harmlessly past the net. As it is, though, it goes in, and it counts. Kusarov, the puck is directed out center. Coach doesn't want a penalty. He's using that stick too much. Giving him the hook and ride treatment here, but the ref didn't see it. There's going to be no hooking penalty call. It's picked off. It's sent up the left side. Lemieux. Breakaway. Here it is. He scores. And he pulls his team to within one goal here in the second period. Let's have a look at this goal. What an assault they mounted this time. The goalie was hoping to block the shot down in the butterfly, but no luck. You can only do so much when you're out, man. Here's what can happen when your D breaks down. Have really accomplished a big goal with that last score. They are now within one of tying this game in the second period. Let's see if they can take advantage of the momentum now. <laughs> He decides to center the puck. Covers up and freezes the puck. He's hip checked. Rock will be part of the offensive line out on the ice for his team. Here we go. The face off to the right of the goaltender. Patrick gets to the loose puck in the attacking zone. Over to the point. He's got it in the neutral zone. He feeds it up the left side. The pass with no receiver. He shoots. That was their only chance to stop the rush, and they did it. Now this is how you preserve a one-goal lead. That's what I'm talking about, a diving shot block. Kravchuk gets control of the puck in his own zone. He's with the puck at center. Out of the corner. Messier decides to dump the puck in. Down low. Kusarov has it on the board. Tockett steals the pass going behind the net. Sent back to the point. Long pass, easily picked off. Anderson gets pushed around a bit. He's serving notice that if you come near him, you're going to get a little nudge. No penalty here, though. He, the puck hits him right in the mask. The pass into open ice. Play, save. Pure, smart play to hold on. Fuhrer positions himself at the left side of the net, waiting for the faceoff. Sutter succeeds on the faceoff.
they dump it in. He's been to the box once tonight. Breakaway, here it is! Now it's at a right. Over to Krutov, two goals tonight for Fuhr. Kills the one-timer attempt with a great stick save. It's sent up the left side. A little love tap on that play, but it was a slash. And as long as your equipment's in the right place, you're okay. If not, they sting. The puck doesn't get to the intended receiver. Puck stolen. Bykov. It's fed back to the point. The puck is hit up the left side. The distance pass picked off. They dump it in. Always have to glove save. He deflected the shot. Hey, how about this save? A little shrug action on the wrist shot. Got it right in the shoulder. Here he comes. He Pure save. His team's got a one goal advantage right now. Fedotov picks up the puck in the offensive zone. The puck is centered. And he shoulder check. Messier. It's loose. It's cleared out of the zone. Coffee clears the puck. It goes up ice. He carries it over the blue line. Messier getting shoved around there. Controls the puck on defense. Coffee has the puck at the point. He scores! And they now have the two-goal lead with that one here in the second period. Controls the puck in the defensive zone. Three assists on the night. An assist hat trick. With the move. The pass meant. Gilmore over in the corner. He takes the big check. Oh, nice open ice hit. Hard to line up when you step up. You better not miss him. And he missed none of them. Kusarov gets pinned against the board. Play is stopped as the puck gets knocked out. They like to keep the ice just right, and I can tell by the frost accumulating on my nose. For the fans at home, you'll be glad you've got your heaters. It's some frigid conditions down here in the box. They're ready in the circle. It goes to the point. Under pressure, fires it hard around the boards. Gartner, he can dish the puck, folks. Gartner gives a push, keeping it physical. Behind the goalkeeper now. Kusarov skating with it now in his own zone. At center ice, he's got it over the blue line. Deflected off the defense. Two assists for him in this game. Protects the right side of his goal as the skaters will face off.
Gartner picks up the loose puck in his own zone. Sent into the corner. In down low. To the middle. Krutov, just right of the post, nearly hits it. And he's checked. And they clear the puck now. He deeks it. Pokes it away. He controls the puck in the neutral zone. Two goals tonight for him. And the puck's loose. They intercept the long pass. Kutov down in the corner. Always dangerous. Up the left side. Good play by the defense to clear that puck. And the whistle blows as the puck is tipped up out of play. Randy, unlike in the game of baseball, pucks rarely make their way into the stands. So when a fan gets a grab like that, it's something special. The players get set to face off. Pocket picks up the loose puck in his own zone. The puck gets picked off with the puck center ice. Gilmore is pinning him along the glass. He's just in his first season. Shot! The puck deflects up off the goalie, then bounces off the glass. He's checked. It's shot! He makes the cross-eyes feed over to Bork. Komatov skating with it now in his own zone. The pass doesn't make it there. He makes a centering pass. The pass went nowhere. Komatov. We finished the second period of play here tonight. The score, 5-3. to three. Once again, with period two of hockey completed, it's time for the Geico intermission report. Well, it's the end of the period, so we'll bring John Schrader into the mix for the Geico intermission report. John? Yes, Randy, I'm back with another edition of the Geico Intermission Report. You know the drill by now. Here we go with the team stats. The home team have shown everybody just what they're capable of tonight. You'd like to say more, but you have to just highlight the goal stat and stop right there. That's the story of this one. Number 99 has made an impression on us. He's carried his team on his back with a command performance that's featured two goals already. The fans are going to need to stay in their seats the rest of the way. You get up to get a hot dog, and you might miss another goal. All right, well, that's about it for this edition of the Geico Intermission Report. Once again, the 80s All-Stars lead it 5-3. to three. Thanks for joining us over the break. Now back to our terrific team in the booth, Randy and Drew. It's all you, Guy. Okie dokie, ready to start things back up. Thanks, John. We'll hear from you again soon. Are on their way out now to the circle to embark on this third period. And it's going to be a journey for sure if they hope to tie it up. Third period goals aren't easy to come by. Let's see what they do. Deeks it. Almost a hook. At least it looked like it. Goulet really nailed with a wild stick. That looked intentional. And it's cleared out. Fatisov gains possession in the defensive zone. Kazatonov controls the puck on defense. The pass broken up. Vikov takes a bit of a hook on the play. Gretzky gets control of the puck in his own zone.
The hip check knocks him down. It's anyone's puck. Kutov back behind the net. He centers the puck. Block. Rifles the backhand shot. It's poke checked away. In down low. From the corner. Fuhrer makes the save, taking the shot to his body while in the splits. Give their defenseman a break and switch up lines. Fuhrer in net, the base off to his right. Gilmore shoots it hits the defender he's with the puck in the neutral zone the pass is intercepted they get caught offside we're told that John Schrader is ready ringside with a report on the game. John, fill us in. Yeah, Randy, as they came out of the locker room, I talked with the head coach of the home team. He told me that he implored his guys to take some pride in their performance. You want to have something to show for a day of work. Then, prefacing his words by saying that everyone shared some of the blame, he put some pressure squarely on his goaltender. He's our last line of defense, and that comes with a lot of responsibility was his parting thought. Do those words ring true to these guys? Only time will tell. Great job, John. Thanks for that report. The puck is free game. Messier. The little deep. Nemchinov picks up the loose puck in his own zone. He brings it past the blue line. Looking is the call. Penalty to number 26. Two minutes for hooking. They have got themselves a power play. Let's see if they can wind up their offensive machine and get some scoring opportunities here. It's passed to the point. Penalty on. He shoots, right. save! He was able to stop a very tough shot there. It tipped out the player towards the goal. Wow! He said, Fuhrer makes the save, helping his team kill off this penalty. Poppy in now, his team changing forward line. Want to win this face off and burn the clock on the penalty. It's still five on four. Mykov gets possession of the puck. Fuhrer, save on that shot. He was trying to go high right. Offside is called. The skater's ready now for the ref to drop the puck. Krutov grabs the puck in the neutral zone. No luck on the pass. The centering pass is made. Has it at the point. Back to the point. Center ice. They get called for offside. try to make some use of the man advantage situation. They've got the power play unit ready to do battle. He's controlling the puck at center ice. The puck's dumped in. Maybe they'll try to attack shorthanded. He gets hip check. It's shot. The shot is blocked. He was open, but they got in the way. 
Masatonov controls the puck on defense. stick that time. Coach wants the hooking call. Fuhr in goal, ready to protect that right side of the net on the faceoff. Bork gets control of the puck in his own zone. Messier carried into the corner. Larionov is held against the board. Baikov takes a whack there. Could be a hook. Hooking him so much there, you might as well call him captain. But he gets away scot-free. Fatisov gains possession in the defensive zone. Controlled center ice. He deeks. Oh, he thrashed him and thrashed him to the ice. Now he's got to peel himself back onto his skates. Good check. He gets shoulder check. Over to Gilmore. Messier. Cross ice. He's been to the box once tonight. The puck is loose. Up the left side. He sends the puck up the left to Krutov. He gets shoulder check good on that one. Over to Gilmore. The long pass intercepted. Gilmore gets his stick on the cross ice pass. Fedotov. Two goals tonight for him. He blows the whistle for offside. Another face-off about to commence here shortly, folks. The puck now goes center. Lemieux dumps the puck. Down low. Across the blue line. He triggers the shot. The defense blocks the shot. He centers the puck. It's saved. Great quickness to move around the net and prevent a goal. Makarov back out there. His team switching up D-line. Fuhr races for the faceoff near his goal. Lemieux takes control of the puck. Center ice. He gets checked good on that one. Over to Komatov. He moves the puck up to Cimac. He deeks. Oh, and a big hit right there. That's going to be our Honda hit of the game. Makarov skating with it now in his own zone. It goes to the point. To the point. It's shot. It's set up the left side. From Cimac to Komatov. That pushing and shoving hasn't gotten the ref's attention yet. But if he keeps it up, he's going to get called. The defense gets in the way to block the shot. Out front. Oh, coach wants a penalty. That's a hook there. Goulet will be back in the game. They wanted to change up their offensive lines, and they get it. The puck doesn't get to the intended receiver. Gretzky gets control of the puck in his own zone. They flip it into the offensive zone. They manage to clear it out of their zone. The puck gets picked off. 
Over the blue line. And they get it out of their zone. It's clear. He feeds it up the left side. It's loose. It gets passed up center. The save is made. Oh, check out this glove save. The shooter went for the slap shot. You sacrifice accuracy for velocity, but nothing doing. Good save. Shot. Sent back. He scores. And he pulls his team to within one goal. This third period looks to be heating up. They're in a much better situation now. Too much open ice out in front of the net that time. And more often than not, this is the result. Yeah, and that's the value of taking those initial shots. You never know when it's going to end up being the perfect setup. Exactly. More shots on goal means more opportunities like this. That's why you throw it at the net. He makes a centering pass. Gretzky skating with it now in his own zone. They have it at center ice. The pass missed. And now the face-off, ready to drop the puck. Drills the wrist shot. Shoots it off his own teammate. With the puck center ice. It's passed to the point. Shoots just to the right, nearly hitting the goalpost. The puck is hit up the left side. The pass went nowhere. The goalie will be preparing the left side of the net here for this faceoff. The pass no good. To the middle. Pure makes the save. Pure covers up after the shot. The ref's got the puck in his hand, and he's ready to start things up again. To the point. He shoots. Shot blocked. Oh, getting a bottom in front of the puck. His goalie owes him dinner now. The puck is loose. The pass is stolen. The prop, prop dumps it in. Lemieux will come in with the offensive line change. He feeds it up the left side. Pure with the save. Great speed in net to get rid of that shot. Mykov in now. His line in there as they get fresh forwards out on the ice. The distance pass picked off. Looks like we're going to see a new goalie. Krutov picks up the pass, cross ice. He's got it down low. Lemieux got the whistle. Looked like a slash. The ref caught him. Penalty two, number 32. Two minutes for slashing. are down a man. The PK unit will be trying to stop any offensive chances. Mariano pins him up against the wall. Batista gains control of the loose puck in the offensive zone. And the puck's loose. Poppy gains possession in the defensive zone. And he shoots hard into the glass. 
Vikov. He fires. Fatisov picks up the loose puck in his own zone. The deep. Bork controls the puck on defense. The pass is missed. He decides to settle the puck. Shoots. He scores! And they tie the game. What an incredible late third period goal to even this one up. They'll have some energy to end out regulation. Better watch out for these guys to get the go-ahead goal quick. Wow! Here's brilliance on the offense. They have the attack on full force as they just drilled the shot five hole. He just gave up a little too much daylight five hole in the crouch. Wishes he'd have been in the butterfly. But you never know if the shot's coming high or low. Bork picks up the loose puck, center ice. Back to the point. He centers it. The shot off the post. If only the net was a bit wider. Heavy metal right there. Red metal. Nailed the post. No luck on the bat. Semenov. Pure saves it. we got a tie game here. Both teams looking to get a goal here in the third period to pull ahead. Lemieux wins the faceoff. The pass with no receiver. Out in front. Controls it deep. Scores right here in the third period. That might be the one to get it done. They're up by a goal. neutral zone. Two minutes left in the period. Past the blue line and it's clear. Gilmore has a chance. He saved. He just got stoned on that breakaway. Lemieux picks off the pass on the right side. Nice shoulder check. Sick goal! They tie the game here in the third period. This thing's getting exciting, and it just might be headed to OT. The goalie had a stab at getting his blocker on the rebound shot, but here's another look. Great offensive play here in front. Yeah, he was camped out in front of the net, managed to corral the rebound. He got off a quick shot, and it went off the goalie's blocker and in. Great way to capitalize and get the rebound goal. Fuhrer protecting the left side of the net. Tocket controls the puck on defense. We have a stoppage as the puck is deflected into the stand. And this face-off will be to the goalie's left. Hartsburg gets control of the puck in his own zone. Now at center ice. Messier skates across the blue. Sits on the puck.
the third. Teams ready for the drop. Sand back to the point. He shoots it. The defender blocks it. Huge situation. Game tied, dropped to his knees, and blocked the shot perfectly. Kolotov collects the puck in the neutral zone. He deeks. He feeds it up center. The puck dumped in. Makarov skating with it now in his own zone. This game's going to overtime. It's neck and neck. I don't know how you can handicap this extra session. These teams have seemed so evenly matched. As the teams head off the ice, we'll say hello to John Schrader. Here with a rundown on the Geico Intermission Report. Hello again. We're getting ready for overtime, so just a brief rundown of the numbers for you before it starts. The home team have at least one key staff that's right where they want it to be. Face-offs won. They've got the edge there, and any coach will tell you if they could pick one thing to be strong in, it'd be that. Number nine has made an impression on us. He's got the trifecta, three goals for him, and flustered looks on the faces of his opponents. The defenses on both sides have been overshadowed here tonight. The offenses are certainly the stars of the show. Someone will need a stop to put this one away. That's all the time we have on the Geico Intermission Report. Again, we've got a tie at six. Okay, now let's get ready for the rest of the game. Back to Randy and Drew. All righty, John. We'll keep an eye on those trends as we get things going again. Look to be amped and ready for this overtime period. They want to put this thing away right now. They've got to be careful, though. The coach wants some smart hockey in the overtime period. Here we are at the start of overtime. The next goal wins the game. Messier holds the puck at center. Makarov picks up the loose puck in his own zone. He's got the puck at the point. Krutov gains possession in the defensive zone. He gets knocked over by the check. And Randy, you want to take care of a scoring threat? Knock him down just like that guy did. He was flat. Gretzky held along the wall. They'll freeze the puck. John Schrader has gone down to the ice for an interview, and he's going to tell us all about it. John? Yeah, guys, a moment ago, I chatted with the head coach of the home team. He let me know that they're prepared to go as long as it takes to come out on top. We'd rather not, he said, but we'll be here until tomorrow if we have to. In addition, he repeated his message about needing to stop the opposition from being able to get so many easy, uncontested looks at the net. He wants his defense to work harder to get stops before it gets to that point. Some good analysis. Let's see how it plays out. There's a little... And it took overtime to decide this one here tonight. What a way to end the hockey game. Our final score, 7-6. Yes, Drew, the four-on-four four has resulted in a goal. They got it done for sure. Did what they wanted to tonight, and that's walk away with the win. They didn't win by a lot, but a one-goal victory is just as good as ten. How do you sum up the game these guys have? You know, Randy, a lot of times it's not any specific area that stands out as the reason for a team's success or failure. Tonight, though, when looking back at their performance as a whole, there's continuity between the determination from the start of the first period to the final horn that these guys exhibited that gave them the extra edge. And that's going to do it for tonight's NHL action here on the 2K Sports Network. I'm Randy Hahn. For Drew Remenda, thanks for tuning in to this NHL presentation here on 2K Sports. We'll see you again soon.
Le premier star de ce match est...